I'm going through some hard decision making, in-game decisions. Now, I'm not too sure whether I'm taking the right decisions. That's why I thought I'd talk about it and kind of get a feel of where you guys stand on these decisions. So, first up, are we meant to save gold keys? I don't know. Is there a point? I think the general call is unless you benefit from opening all the gold keys, you shouldn't. Now, the only commander that I can benefit from is Mulan. Now, I don't know whether I need Mulan urgently, but then again, what am I meant to do with the daily chests? So the only option that I have now is Mulan. So if I don't open the keys, then I don't know how long I should be buying for, right? So I'm guessing I should be opening them. Now, the second decision here is was there a final decision on whether to open keys one by one or whether we are meant to open all? How do you guys open your keys? Now, all the videos and everything that I have seen, I don't think it varies much. Now, open 10 pretty much got nothing. When I opened one by one, I pretty much got nothing. I know that wasn't too many keys, but still. Now, how should we open the equipment chests? Do we open them all together or do we open one by one? How do you guys do it? Should I do it now? Maybe I should wait till I get the comments from you guys in terms of whether it makes any difference or not and then do it. Other things where I am struggling with decision making a little bit is this. So we have the Richard Rewards. Now, there's quite a few Richard Rewards that I have seen in the last couple of months. I think it's monthly now. It doesn't feel like it's every three months now. So the spending has gone down, gone up, I mean. So there's 30 gold heads that you can get. So are you guys spending all that money here to get the gold heads it kind of feels relevant but then again i'm not a high spender i'm not too sure whether this is right for a medium spender to be doing keeping in mind you have to spend quite a lot of money even as a mid spender during kvk on crystal tech so when it came every three months it was good for me as a medium spender to actually go every day now i'm kind of doing it but feeling a little guilty about it at the same time so if you guys are mid spenders you know what even more of an important question what is a mid spender if you don't mind let us know in the comments field what do you think a mid spender is and then let us know if you think you're a mid spender are you going all the way now in terms of going all the way as in buying all five days all the gems that you that you need to buy are you spending on the season bounty now i'm looking at it i'm not too sure whether i should be buying this or whether i should be buying the black friday sale now the black friday sale it gives the helmet blueprints now i have one of each and i definitely don't have the material to actually go for a special talent so it kind of doesn't feel what for me to go for it and then the season bounty now basically you're not buying it for the speed ups or anything you're buying it for the food looking items and the reason why you want to get that is uh, not here is on this screen you want to get the 30 gold heads now, I kind of feel like the 30 gold heads is still somewhat value. If you're a medium spender and you have been spend, playing for a few years, this definitely doesn't attract you. This is not that special either. There's nothing else here that's quite attractive. So it's mainly that. And then there's the question of the city skin. So I kind of tried to have all the city skins that came out as a collector. I think I have most of them. Not all of them, but quite a lot of them but then this now feels like it's a pretty screen i mean pretty city skin but it definitely doesn't feel worth it 
Like this is something I'm never ever gonna use. Archer attack at the cost of cavalry health just doesn't make sense. So if that's the case and if I'm just after the gold heads then how much should I be spending on this bundle? Or should I just keep doing the supply depots? So how are you guys doing your spending? Now the big question here, the reason why I'm asking this is because Crystal Tech is a frequent expense nowadays, is it worth spending on anything other than this one? This? What do you guys think? So this is the video where I don't have answers. This is the video where I'm actually asking most of the questions and trying to get a feel of what the rest of the world kind of does from my situation you do see what i have been doing i have been mostly buying the season of bounty i haven't been buying much of the black friday and then now for the last couple days i'm just doing these two supply boxes now the second sort of or maybe third sort of topic that i wanted to talk about is to do with the commander choices so mg just finished and I got a placement for Pakal where actually I could have chosen whatever I wanted and I did see quite a lot of people going for uh, the new commander and obviously if you have Pakal Max then you should go for the new commander I, I don't have the new commander um, Suleiman S but then saying that I kind of don't understand why would someone go for Suleiman when they don't have Pakal right as in people also talk about Attila Takeda and yes they don't they're not the top rally anymore even though they work on series pretty well just think about the amount of kills that you get whether you're doing open field or random city rallies when you get the chance in KBK why wouldn't you go for Attila Takeda like as in end of the day most of us in our kingdoms are measured on how many kills you're getting in kvk i mean deads as well but dead you can get with whichever commander but kills is where you you, you are measured on and that's where the commanders matter more and attila takeda especially it's a, if, if it's a evenly fought kvk then or even a losing kvk you, you kind of need attila takeda to rack up kills um and then the same kind of a applies to Pakal as well. That's why obviously I went for Pakal. I do plan to max him even when he gets outdated. So say for example, if I start working on Pakal now, by the time I finish Pakal, there's a chance a new infantry commander may come out. Even knowing that, I think I want to invest on Pakal. I did spin the wheel for Harold as well. As in the last time when the infantry wheel came out now the thing is if I'm using Pakal and Harold I know that I can pick up a lot of kills in open field and I can use it as a tanking rally as well so Pakal and Harold are kind of like the Attila Takeda of infantry so why should I not invest in them so th th this is where i mean i kind of know my decision that i definitely want to go for it now m didn't get an mg placement but when she does in future whenever she does have access to pakal then i'm kind of thinking i should go pakal as well and at the same time you do have a good rally option if you, if you get the herald as well so you can rally with them you can open field with them you get quite a lot of kills so to me it kind of felt like a no-brainer i mean i i know that some people I, I and this is actually was this was actually quite shocking to me some people actually went for leo like why would you go for leo when you have all these new commanders and for your guan you kind of know that your alex does pretty well so what role does leo really play anymore i mean yeah you can do five five and then kind of put it with guan but then don't you rather do alex i mean most people 
get access to Alex earlier, he's not MG's wheel and Leo is one of those MG ones that's hard to get and if you really want a Leo you can in future well at some stage depending on how old your account is or how old your kingdom is actually you can get Leo from the daily chests so anyways my decision is kind of make so I know what I'm doing um, but I, I, I still felt a little hesitant based on some of the some of the friends that i have been talking to and i kind of don't understand their decision making uh so let let us know in the comments field do you, do you think pakal and harold based on the logic that i was saying picking up kills and a tanky rally option if you had the choice would you not go for pakal and harold even if new infantry commander comes out just like attila takeda aren't they gonna be like a long-term investment where you surely pick up kills no let us know in the comments field so we'll call it a day here this was a random kind of video that i thought i'd do with all the decision making and this is where i want to know your thoughts and that's a bundle that definitely everyone should pick up it doesn't matter what level of spender you are as long as you're a spender you should definitely pick it up so on that beautiful note have a good day and like and subscribe and leave comments letting us know your thoughts on everything we talked about today. Bye.